We're going to be creating a depth map in here to create a fake depth of field. So the first thing you do is copy up a layer, then go into filter and go into the neural filters. Now in the neural filters, there's a beta depth blur, which you have to download and then reset everything to zero. Because what we want to use is the output depth map only. Once you've selected that, click OK. Now back in Photoshop, you'll see the depth maps in the top layer. Go to the channels and copy any of these channels, but the blue one, and just copy that and rename this channel depth map. You can actually call it whatever you want as Photoshop will read it anyway. Once you've done that, select the RGB and go back into layers. Now with your top layer selected as in layer one, go into filter and go into blur and lens blur. Now that we're in the Lens Blur module, you can go in and you can change many items in this. For me, I use Most Accurate and you can see the source is already reading the depth map because Photoshop recognises that. If you click Invert, it will move the depth map around. So what you can do is you can choose the blades, hexagon, octagon or triangle and that will give you a triangular shaped bokeh effect. I'm going to leave this one at hexagon. Now, for the blade curvature, I normally sit around about 50% and you can adjust the specular highlights to what you want. Again, for me, I would normally keep them about zero as well. With set focal point selected, you can click in any areas of your image and it will adjust the depth of field within the image. Yes, it is a fake effect, but it just shows you how powerful it can be and how you can utilize a depth map to create this effect even better. So you can see we can click all the way through the image and choose exactly where we want it to be. Once you're happy with the placement of it, just click OK, and go back into the document, turn off the depth map layer, and you can see your final result. Mm -hmm.